Aeroni Tarodi here, bringing you an Astroth character breakdown. Now, with the trailer of his and the reveal dropping, there was quite a few things that I have noticed here and there, and I wanted to make it apparent for anybody who might not have missed it or just needs to know about it. Astaroth. Now, obviously, his intro is the best in Soul Calibur 6. Let's just be real here, favoritism. But the interesting thing, and the very first interesting point, is he now has his bread and butter combo from Soul Calibur 4 with the stomp into his normal 3 hit instead of the 2 hit that ended into a wall splat. For those who don't know, is in Soul Calibur 5, with that exact same motion, it was actually 2-2-B Brave Edge into the wall splat. Now, the next, that is a good segue for this part right here, which is his lethal hit into Titan Drop. I don't understand how or what the different properties are in this scenario because you would have to think, what's the difference between the stomp and then the grab? Does he have two command grabs or is it actually you can get one or the other? Because I'm not sure if lethal hits are actually counter inclusive or if it's just the property of the move. So if it's just the property of the move, if you jump at me, or if I get you in the air, I'm going to do that and get a lethal hit off of it, mid-combo. So, it might be a thing, but I highly doubt it because all lethal hits are just openers. But, if you guys want to get on my good side, please jump at me. Let me get this off on you. It'd be hype. Trust me. Your, your life bar, you will not miss it. Now, we're going off onto the next one here, which is his reversal edge. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of controversy because of that right there, the slide. Because everybody is saying if that wall wasn't there, Mitsurugi would actually have been run out, rung out. However, this will probably not be the case because of one important reason. Astroth has a normal move that's 214A, which is called Era. I call Erasta. It's actually called Poseidon's Divide in the game. I know. I, I just want to call it Erasta. Anyway. No matter how close you are to the ring edge, it will never, ever ring you out. It will actually push me back to center. So I highly doubt that there will ever be an instance where Astroth has a full screen ring out like that because we don't need a Hilda Syndrome. We might be getting something from Soul Calibur 4, but we don't need it to be Hilda's ring out potential. Now, here's something that's actually really interesting here, which is his soul charge combo we see here into his just command grab. Now let's rewatch that just for a split second. Let's just rewatch it. That move right there is 214A. However, the interesting thing to note here is the 214A is actually, there's no break in it. Now, for those who don't know, there is a slight pause between the initial hit and when you can keep repeatedly tapping A to get extra hits. In this scenario, Soul Charge doesn't allow you to actually bait the actual hit. You have to take all of it. Now, given the fact that that was in Soul Charge, Siegfried just got a huge amount of chip, and we don't know how much that final guard break swing did, and he took a full command grab. So, let's be real here. That's probably more than half health. And then his CE, in general... While Devastation and just Incarnate also looks like it's an actual mid. It looks exactly copy-pasted from Soul Calibur V's critical... Uh, I want I kept wanting to say critical art. God damn it, it's CE. His CE is the same as his C CE from Soul Calibur V. So it's kind of interesting. It probably is a mid, but the thing is, is because it's an unblockable grab you can still tech duck it. That was one of the huge things about command grabs in general when it was in Soul Calibur V. All CEs, you can always tech duck it, no matter what. If you did a 2K, a 2A, or any type of crouching motion or anything that required you to actually get a little bit lower would make CEs or any type of command grab whiff. And also, the thing that we don't see here is we don't see any crouch grabs from Astaroth. We don't see any special type of grabs except for his air grab and his titan drop. So we have to wait until we can actually see some actual gameplay of him before we know exactly what to deal with here. The other interesting thing here is, and this is actually a cosmetic effect, we're going to go back to... No, we can go right here. Power is everything! An interesting thing here is, 
Astaroth stole Rock's pants. Alright? So, I can pretty much guarantee you that that means Rock will not be in the game. Because it's like, you know, a homage to the character that they have with Astaroth. You know, it's kind of like melding them together into one... Into actually one character instead of having them take two slots. Which... I know people who want rock are going to be like, Ugh! you know, and everything else. But at the same token, you know, it's not exactly bad because regardless, you're getting a big, heavy built character. Now, the interesting thing is, is right as I was making this video, Wonky had released this for Astroth. Astroth is a ruthless and powerful fighter in Soul Calibur. He's equipped with a giant axe that has wide range and brutal command throws. For Soul Calibur 6, the top half of his body has been built up so he has bigger range on his attacks and command throws. Thank you. So his opponents can no longer quickly get away from him. What that means is, is all the times I grabbed the ghost of your hurt box, now that's actually my hitbox. In addition, to make use of his massive characteristics, Astroth gains plenty of new revenge type of attacks that will now armor through opponent's attacks. That means Brave Edge Bull Rush is probably going to be a thing. And also on top of that, there's probably going to be a lot more because of the fact that you have... If you want a good example, is Nightmare's revenge mechanic that he has, where he just... Uh, the soul explosion, the guard impact that would happen with the gigantic cre uh, crimson explosion after anything else. So the way it seems to me is the way they're building Astaroth is you're not going to be able to interrupt him as fluidly as he is. Because you have to realize, in this game, it's very fast-paced. It's not a matter of, you know, you can have a slow, cumbersome fighter and they can get away with something. What they're actually doing is they're making him actually keep up with the rest of the cast. Because in Soul Calibur V, and I'm pretty sure Soul Calibur IV as well, Mitsurugi, you know, Sophidia, Cassandra, Talam, all of them can outframe him until he is just nothing but a pile of goo. Now it seems like they're going to have to be very sparing with his actual armor. You're not going to be able to just tap buttons and get a result. You're going to actually have to be worried about the fact that, oh, he's going to armor through this and still hit me. You know, it's actually really interesting that they chose Astaroth as the massive armor character you would think that would be nightmare or siegfried because they have a big zwei hand or they can deflect attacks yada 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 but this gives astroth his own unique play style which i cannot wait to get my hands on let's just watch this combo one more time Ooh, grab and then slam oh it's so good i love it so much oh and also another interesting thing i want to note here Astros' design here is a combination of four and ones, believe it or not. Now, the reason I say four is because of the markings. Of course, in four, he was a lava golem and everything else. However, the markings were exactly the same pattern in everything else. And obviously, you know, you can't have an Astros without his heart exposed. I mean, that's just signature to him. You have to have his heart completely exposed. Hey, at least he's not wearing it on his sleeve. But it, all in all, from what I can tell, it looks like Astroth is going to be the full armor character. He's not going to be the just another Zangief. He's going to be pretty much like an Iron Tiger from Blaze Blue, if you guys have ever played that. It just seems right, I would want to say. It's the right way to build this character, I feel. Because while he does have his slow and cumbersome and he also has his downfalls it's going to be apparent no matter what they did their best to mitigate that so he's actually really strong and i love the fact that every character in this game is going to be strong let me know what you guys think do you guys believe that astaroth is going to be broken or do you think he's actually fine the way he is now let's keep in mind that we're taking into consideration his comparison to every single character so you have to think of Ivy, you have to think Gro, Keelik, everyone. You can't just be looking at him and he's like, broken, broken, where's the nerf hammer? Ban him, tournament ban him. You can't think of it like that. You got to think of it in comparison to the rest of the cast and the game. Because for one, I know his chip is going to be unbelievable with that one combo we just saw. That's That's got to be at least 60% right there. It's going to be ridiculous. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. 
Are you guys hyped that Astaroth is built this way now? Or are you a little bit sad that they decided to go the armor route with him instead of actually building off of what he was in Soul Calibur 5 and 4? Let me know in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is Daroda signing off. I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope to see you in the next part. Take care, everyone, and be safe. Later!